welcome back to my channel and into another unboxing video. Um, for those of you guys who are new here, welcome to my channel. We love to have you as part of our family here on YouTube. And for those of you guys who keep coming back, thank you so much for all your love and support. Now, this is going to be a BoxyCharm unboxing. And you guys know if you've been following along with my um, BoxyCharm unboxings for the last couple of months. Um, I have been sorely, sorely disappointed in every single one of my boxes and I will get you up to speed on how I'm feeling about that. Sorry about my jacket right there. I've been coming in and out, in and outside. Um, if you are watching this video, um, the day that you're watching this video is going to be a few days after Valentine's Day, but when I'm filming it, it is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you guys are full with love and just passion for the day. Um, it is not my favorite time of the year. I mean, I, I don't get all worked up into all of the, you know, cards and all the lovey-dovey stuff. I'm just not that kind of a gal. My husband does really try um, to have, you know, spontaneity and stuff on Valentine's Day, but I'm just like, eh, you know, I love you every day, okay? So every day is Valentine's Day for me. Um, but I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day or had a great Valentine's Day by the time you're watching this. Okay, so let's talk about BoxyCharm. I have had BoxyCharm since November, so that's three boxes. This is the February 2020 box and I'm scared to open it. Let's just get real, okay? So if you um, want to go back and watch last month's BoxyCharm unboxing, um, I will have that somewhere up in the iCards throughout this video. Um, but to get you up to speed, if you are new here, last month um, my choice item was not delivered into my box. I got uh, three out of the five products were skincare and it was just a hot mess. So what I did was, is I emailed the company and I just wanted to kind of give you an update on this, um, on last month's box before we get into this month's box because um, I emailed the company and I got a very interesting response. I'm going to read it to you real quick, or parts of it anyway. Um, just so that you know kind of what their customer service is like. I try to be as transparent as I possibly can with this box or with all these companies. If I have an issue, I'm going to reach out to the company and then I'm going to share with you kind of how they responded. Um, now I will say in November when I got my first box, um, I was supposed to get a free gift with that box and that free gift didn't come in the box. It then took them 45 days to mail me that gift. Um, I actually got my December box before I got the gift from November. Um, and in my December box, it was also full of skincare products. My profile specifically says no skincare on it. Um, and so I emailed the company and I kind of said, and I was really upset in January because I thought maybe it's just going to take a couple months for them to get through my profile. I am new to BoxyCharm. You know, I was trying to give them as much uh, leeway as I possibly could. But then whenever I got January's box, I was quite, quite upset um, because again, I got three out of the five products and I didn't even get my choice item that I had picked. Um, so I emailed the company and I was just trying to say, hey, look, I'm really trying not to cancel my subscription. Is there anything that I can do on my end in my beauty profile that will help make it to where you guys don't send me um, uh, skincare products? As my profile does say, I don't want any skincare. Um, and then I also question them about my choice item and how I explained to them very nicely. I mean, I wasn't rude. I was very nice. Um, I explained to them how all three of the boxes that I had purchased so far had all been um, a very big disappointed disappointment. Things were missing um, in every single one of my box. And so um, I want to share with you guys the response that they sent to me because it um, is quite funny. To me, it is. Um, it says, thank you for contacting uh, Boxy Charm. First and foremost, we sincerely apologize for the inconvenience this whole situation has caused you. This is definitely not the experience we want you to have as charming 
as charming as you are our top priority. Please allow us to look into this matter for you. And then it says, while we are glad to know that you are already received your gift, we are sorry for the time that it took for us to ship your project product. Due to the unforeseen circumstances, we did face a number of unexpected challenges that have contributed to the processing delays. We have already raised this case to the proper department. Because you know I'm a to the proper department, and rest assured, uh, we are working tirelessly to improve our services, especially with our promotions. Until then, we really hope to continue charming you. So that is a direct response to my November box and how the free gift that the promotion was a, a tart palette and how the free gift was um, promoted that month. And when I got my box, the free gift wasn't in there. And then it took them 45 days to ship me that free product and then that free promotion product and then um, it wasn't even the product that they told me that the advertisement said that I would get. Um, I did get a Tarte palette but it wasn't the correct Tarte palette. Um, and then it says, on the other hand, we understand how amazing it is for you to receive product that you truly like. At this time, we offer similar boxes uh, boxy luxes to all of our subscribers although we cannot guarantee that each subscriber will receive the exact same box each month we regularly have several color shades to offer subscribers might receive different shades and different brands of similar products but we always make sure that variant, pro variant products have similar value of $125 for regular boxes and $250 for boxy lux. So they're going on to say about the reason why I got a different um, palette. Um, given this information, we are unable, so now we're going to be going into the reason why I keep getting skincare. And this is their response to that. Given this information, we are unable to guarantee the exact box variation that would be assigned to you as we are still operating as a beauty discovery box provider and that our boxes are currently being shipped at random batches. Although it's still a diamond in the rough, we are working hard to make the customization possible via beauty quiz and rest assured that our goal is to make it possibly perfect for you. Um, so basically what they're saying here is that um, even though you go in there and you sign up for your beauty quiz, that is no guarantee. It's almost like they're not even looking at your beauty quiz to see what your preferences are um, because they get just different variations of the box and you basically just get what you get. Um, and then it says, moreover, we have reviewed our resources and we were unable to locate your choice being recorded. Therefore, our system automatically processed your box randomly with the same awesome value. If you believe that this is an error, please provide us with a screenshot of your choice confirmation so we may further verify it on our end. And then it goes on to say, we appreciate your patience and understanding, tra la la, blah, blah, blah. So when it comes to my choice item, it, they're saying that their system never recognized that I put in my choice item. Last month, it was for the Ace Beauty palette. Um, and I didn't get the Ace Beauty palette in my box. So that's what they're saying. They're saying that the confirmation um, didn't get recorded in their system. So that's the reason why I didn't get that. Um, they didn't offer to correct the situation. They didn't offer... Um, any kind of um, product into replace of that they just were like it didn't get recorded sorry <clears throat> you lost out you know what I mean which is not very good customer service for me for me if I don't mind people making mistakes but if you do make a mistake I want you to correct it I want you to fix the problem I want you to be making sure that I'm satisfied especially when I'm handing over my money to you um, that's just the way I feel it doesn't matter if it's beauty boxes at the grocery store at the mall if you make a mistake I want you to fix it and I and I'm okay with that I'm okay with people making mistakes it does happen I'm not perfect I make mistakes too but if I have wronged you or done something wrong to you then I will do everything that I can to fix that problem and I feel like when um, pro 
uh, companies such as BoxyCharm, Ipsy, any of them, if they uh, really care about the customer, then they would do, be doing everything they can to make sure that customer is satisfied completely with their order, especially if they've done something wrong. That's just me. So, all of that, now that you're updated on my BoxyCharm um, shenanigans, let's open this box up and see if, uh, by the grace, okay, that we have a good box this month. I am, I said last month that if this box wasn't okay, then I was probably going to cancel my subscription. Um, so we're going to see, and I would really like to get the BoxyCharm Premium, but I'm afraid to give them any more of my money. You see what I'm saying? Um, because every box has been unsatisfactory. Okay, so we're going to go in here. This is what the box looks like. I'm never disappointed in the way that BoxyCharm packages their products. Um, it always comes nice and secure. I've never had anything broke or busted. Um, it's just that they keep giving me skincare products and that's just not what I'm personally looking for. So it comes with this card right here. This is a boxy charm and the theme for this month is a door. Um, so super, super cute. It kind of gives you some information down here. It says if you upgrade to March Lux, then you will be getting these three products here. Um, I think that they're the, um, the Lux box is $49.99 every three months and you get eight to nine beauty products worth over $275 it says. Um, but again, I would love to do that, but I'm just afraid to give them any more of my money. You know, I, I don't know. Okay. So pulling out the first product on top, it is this bad boy, and this says that this is the Evo Skin Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. Um, this is not makeup, okay? So this thing here says that this retails for $10, and there is how many in here? I mean, this can't possibly be a full size. There's only like 15 wipes in here. Yeah. Um, most of the time whenever, like even if you go to Walmart and get um, like the Neutrogena ones, they come with like 30 in there. So you're telling me that 15 of these cost $10 and this is a full size product. I don't know about that. I mean, I will use these. I probably will take these when I go traveling. I probably will not use these here at my house. I do use um, makeup erasers for in my home. I try not to waste things as much as I possibly can. Um, but if I am traveling, this is something that I'll just throw in my bag for on the go kind of stuff. So, I mean, meh. You know, that's how I feel about that. Next up is the Luxie Complete um, sponge set. I didn't know that Luxie had um, sponges so I'm kind of curious to see what these are like. This says that this retails for $40. Um, I just dropped my card. My bad. Um, $40. I'm not so sure about that. Although if you were to go out and purchase a beauty blender um, I mean, they're like 20 bucks a piece, so if you were to get three of the beauty blenders, you'd be paying 60 bucks. Um, so you got like a little, like maybe concealer sponge. You kind of get this flat edge sponge, which would be good for all over foundation. The sponges are quite soft. I'm not mad at that. And then you get like this tapered edge one, which would be good for baking if you baked. I'm not that serious about makeup. You know, it's just makeup. It's not that serious, okay? Um, so, I mean, I'm not mad about this product, even though it's not a makeup product, it is a tool and I really don't mind getting tools. Um, it's one of the things that I really don't like to purchase. Um, so I am not mad at that. I'm actually okay with that. Okay. Um, and like I said, that retails for $40. Next up is some, what is this? First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So skincare, okay. Um, a daily treatment pad that contains the right amount of lactic and glycolic acids to safely and effectively exfoliate. 
Okay, so this guy um, retails for $16, and there are 28 pads, so it's like a month's supply. Is there a safety seal? I won't open it just yet because I may not be using it. I do like First Aid Beauty products. There's nothing against this product. It's just not what I want in my boxes, the skincare. Um, it's just not my thing, okay? It's just not my thing. So $16, okay, there's that. Next up in here is um, this Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream is a weightless leave-in cream that provides superior hydration, okay? Um, I'm not mad about this hair care product. It is a hair care product. Oh, you see that? Um, but I do really, really... I just love the smell of Amica products and they have really, really good products and they're quite pricey. Um, so I won't personally pay out of pocket for Amica products, although I do love them. Um, this is 3.3 fluid ounces and I am pretty pumped to have this. It retails for $25. I really, really like the um, Amica hair mask. It comes in like a jar. That is my favorite product by Amica. Um, so I'm not mad about this either. Um, and you know, it's wintertime girl, so my hair can always use some help. Okay, some help. Okay, and the last thing I did get in my box is the Iconic London palette. Now this was my choice. Um, for this month, okay, so at least I got my choice for this month. I'm not mad about it I'm not mad about it. Okay, so here is the Hello, can you see me? There you are Okay, so I'm not mad about this um, I because this is the uh, item that I picked um, and these colors are just my thing I'm a very neutrally um, kind of gal and if I don't wear neutral colors I kind of wear like um, corals or pinks or something like that so I am not mad about this palette I wanted it this guy retails for $62 I really really love this girl box shade right here girl box girl boss shade the other thing with this iconic London palette that I do enjoy if you guys can kind of see there this is like down inside the box a little bit so it's not like flush with the box it kind of sits down a little bit which I actually really really like there's a ginormous mirror on it which I don't normally use the mirrors in palettes so I could you know leave or take the the mirrors that doesn't really matter to me um, but I really do love all of these pretty neutral shades this coral colors here this um, this looks more like purple on camera but I think in person it's more pinky and it's a sh it's a shimmer um, and I really like this Wonderland shade next to it. So super. It's just just the the type of makeup that I like. I like very simple, very easy light shades. Super, super cute. I will play with this palette. I love it. Um, so that's not bad. Where is my calculator? Let's add up the total price of this box. Um, this is the $25 base box for BoxyCharm. Um, so for $25, you are getting, according to them, 62 plus 40 plus 25 plus 16 plus 10. So that's a $153 value in my box. Um, is this box better than any of the other boxes. Um, for me it is, this is at least halfway decent. This is at least um, a box that I'm not really mad about. I did get my choice, um, which is this palette. Um, I am not mad about the sponges here and I'm not mad about the hair mask right here. The only two skincare products I got is this um, facial pads and the facial wipes now 
some people might not consider either one of these skincare because this is like an exfoliator like pad type of thing to remove makeup um, but to me this is stuff that um, is skincare personally for me um, these three products are not bad okay so at least three out of the five products this time were makeup or something useful to me um so i'm not upset with this box it is the best box that i have gotten so far at least my uh choice item was in there and um things that I'm going to use are in there. So I'm not upset. I will probably give BoxyCharm one more month to see if I'm fully going to stay committed to BoxyCharm or not. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm not disappointed. Are you disappointed in your box? Let me know in the comments below if you got your choice item this month. Um, I'm interested to know, am I the only one on the planet that's having a problem with BoxyCharm? Um, maybe now that we've, we're in it three or four months, maybe now my box is going to come and everything's going to be fine, um, and good to go. I'm hoping. I really want to give BoxyCharm a, a good run, a fair chance. Um, so I'm doing everything I can to, you know, bring it in. Um, anyway, let me know in the comments below what you got in your BoxyCharm this month. If you were satisfied with your box. Um, or if you're having troubles if, with it in the comment box, I'm interested. I'm interested, okay? Every other person that uh, does a BoxyCharm video seems to just love everything in their box. And I'm just like, wah, wah, wah. You know, so I'm just curious. Is, is it just me? Is it just me? Um, anyway, I, I give this box three out of five stars, okay? Three out of five stars this time. Um... We will see you guys next month for another BoxyCharm unboxing. And um, as always, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. It really does mean the world to me. We will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.